Nobody will live the heart of game. <laughs> the shadow knows. Good evening viewers. Tonight episode will feature tape loading on the Commodore 64. Why is it so slow? And how does turbo tape work? So uh, I have to warn you, this episode will be uh, quite technical. So uh, if you don't like it, uh, you better turn off right now. So, let's start. First, this is the way uh, how data is stored on a cassette. Every time the wave changes polarity, a pulse is uh, sent to the uh, Commodore 64 and the loading routine uh, measures the uh, time that uh, passes between uh, two pulses. So with a ROM loader we have a short pulse, a medium pulse and, lo uh, and a long pulse. So how does the ROM loader work? Well as I mentioned before we have uh, three different pulses. A short pulse with a length of uh, 348 microseconds, a medium pulse 510 microseconds and a long pulse 672 microseconds. So with these pulses uh, a 0 and a 1 bit can be written. A 0 bit is represented by a short pulse followed by a medium pulse and the one bit is uh, represented by a medium pulse followed by a short pulse. Uh, so the length for one bit is 858 microseconds. So uh, how is a byte written down to tape with the ROM loader? A byte consists of 8 data bits, 8 times 858 microseconds. We have a check bit again 858 microseconds and a data marker and that's where the long pulse uh, comes in place a long pulse followed by a medium pulse uh, says uh, that the new next block is new data it's 1182 microseconds and if the long pulse is followed by a short pulse that means end of data and it's 1020 microseconds. That's a total of 8904 microseconds, 8.9 milliseconds for each byte on the tape with the ROM loader. Okay, that was a bit structure from the ROM loader. Now let's continue with the uh, file structure on tape. So, first of all, we have a lead in for the header and it's a uh, Hexadecimal 6A00 times a uh, short uh, pulse totaling 9.4 seconds followed by 8 sync bytes. Then we have the header. It contains 4 bytes uh, with the start and address, 16 bytes uh, with the file name, and a uh, little less than 200 bytes of bottom data. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's 200 extra bytes. Then uh, after that we have the lead in for the data. It's uh, hexadecimal 1500 times uh, a short pulse totaling 1.9 seconds followed by 8 sync bytes again. After the data block Both uh, the header and the data block are repeated with uh, shorter lead ends of uh, 27 microseconds each. Uh, sorry, milliseconds each. That was the ROM loader. Now we'll come to uh, TurboTape. And with uh, TurboTape, I mean TurboTape 64 and uh, the hundreds and thousands of compatible. 
throw a day progr loader programs. Uh, I'll probably make a, vi a video uh, about them sometimes and I'll compare them. But uh, basically all speed loading tape, speed tape loading routines, even those uh, ship with commercial programs basically work on the same principle, the pulse length vary to uh, make the tape better uh, suitable to be copied on mass production lines, but uh, the basic principle is most of the time the same, but uh, I only cover Turbo Tape 64 in this video. So how does it work? It's a whole lot simpler than uh, the ROM loader. We have a zero bit represented by a, I call it short pulse of 211 microseconds. That's uh, quite a bit shorter than the short pulse on the ROM loader. And we have a one bit represented by I call it long pulse of uh, 324 microseconds. That's all. So how's the byte written on tape by Turbo Tape 64? Well. It varies in length, because uh, zero bit is always represented by a short pulse and uh, one bit is always represented by a long pulse. A hexadecimal double zero, eight zeros in a byte, uh, uses eight short pulses of 211 microseconds, totaling 1688 microseconds roughly 1.7 milliseconds. A byte consisting of only ones, a hexadecimal FF, will be represented by eight long pulses of uh, 324 microseconds, totaling in about 2.6 milliseconds. An average byte with equal amount of uh, ones and zeros will be about 2.1 milliseconds. And that's all. No check bit. Uh, well, uh, there is a check bit at the end of the file, but uh, all the bytes of the uh, file are written after one after another. And no fancy block uh, structure that would just waste time and space on the tape. The file structure of Turbo Tape is also uh, much much simpler than uh, with the ROM loader. We have the lead in for the header. It's uh, 4 times 256 plus 247 a hexadecimal 0, 02 for about 2.3 seconds, followed by 8 sync, eight sync bytes. After that we have a header. With 4 bytes for the start and address, 16 bytes for a file name, and some extra bytes uh, indicating if the file is relocatable in memory or something like that. After that we have the lead-in for the data. It's 256 plus 247 times uh, hexadecimal 02 byte, which will last about 0.9 seconds, followed by 8 sync bytes. After that we have the data and a parity at a file to uh, detect if the data was loaded correctly. And that's all. Uh, to my calculations, uh, this is eight and a half times roughly faster than the ROM loader. Uh, on the internet I read something like 10 or 12 times faster, but uh, I might have made some uh, mistakes in my calculations or the claims on the internet are wrong, I don't know. I haven't uh, timed it, but uh, please uh, state in the comments if I'm completely wrong with my uh, video. Uh, okay, I hope I could explain a little how tape loading on the Commodore 64 and uh, TurboTape works. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching and have a good night.